Hello, beautiful people of God. I'm back again. God is on it again. Hallelujah. He has me going into. Now, I want to say this, this disclaimer. I had these five signs. God sent someone to your church about a month and a half ago. I just, look, I forgot about it. I, I had the, uh, <clears throat> at the same time, uh, I did uh, a, about a month and a half ago where it says five signs God sent someone into your life to bless you, right? And so I had it, I had this one too, but I forgot about it. I said, oh, I'll do it later, I'll do it later. But I, I think it's fitting today to actually, glory to God, hallelujah, um, present the five signs of that Jesus Christ has sent someone into your ministry. Come on. Glory to God. And he wanted me to uh, back it up with uh, Luke 8. Hey, it's And I'm going to start with uh, Luke 8, 35. But it's something, it's something in there God wants me to show you guys in that particular text. So here's sign number one. God says when he sends someone into your ministry to bless you, to be a, 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 a great a, a service to your ministry, glory shows up stronger. The glory of the Lord shows up stronger and more powerful. Number two, you will hear the voice of the Lord for their lives. Come on. Hallelujah. Not the voice of a discord. Come on, God, he's still on that too. That's why, I, now I see why he did this a month and a half ago. He wrote this out a month and a half ago because of something that just transpired. You will hear, Abbasia, sign number two of the five signs. God sent someone into your ministry to bless you or you be a blessing to them. That you will hear the voice or the heart of the Lord for their lives. Number three, what they carry will supernaturally bless you, meaning you don't have to try to steal it. Hey, come on. Hallelujah. You don't have to try to steal it. Uh -huh. You don't have to be anointing, an anointing uh, thief. Uh -huh. God will supernaturally, hallelujah, allow the impartation of what they carry. Come on. Come on. To bless you. Uh-huh. Hallelujah. I know that's, that could be a little deep. I can go a bunch of directions on that in Jesus' name. Number No, let me hear, let me see number three again because God might have something on that. What, when God sends people into your ministry, what they carry, God's anointing was supernatural. That's that, what they carry was supernaturally bless you. The anointing on their life was supernaturally bless you through Christ Jesus. So that means you don't have to uh huh. So discord to try to steal it. You don't have to. Come on, come on. Hallelujah, Messiah. So you don't have to do all that wickedness to try to steal their gifts, Gehazi. Don't you know God's heart goes with them? Everyone. Uh huh. Verse number. I'm the verse. Verse. Uh huh. Uh uh. uh number four says, everyone that comes to the church is it broken once again everyone that comes into your church they're not broken nor broke <laughs> that's not that god, god just added, added that everyone that comes into your church are not broken they're not uh unhealed some of them are not unhealed some of them are healed god says it says some god has healed on the way right so he's he was referring to um uh, uh, the ten leper people that had the ten leper guys that had leprosy, and he told them he gave them instructions or whatever what to do. I guess go to go home or go to the priest and whatever, whatever. And <clears throat> as they were going, they were being healed, right? And only one of them came back and gave God glory and praised the Lord. Um, so as God says. Everyone that enters your service, everyone that enters or comes in or come in or not, they're not unhealed. They're not broken and dis, 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 dismayed and just in miry clay. Some of them are being are have been healed on their way to you. Uh-huh. The gift of healing 
Another another thing he said in, 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 in when um when God has sent these people to you, the gift of healing and virtue power. I'm sorry, the gift of healing and virtue shows up. The gift of healing and virtue shows up. So God, Jesus Christ said, I felt, hey, come on, what you say, God? And, and, uh, still in uh, Luke number eight. What did he say? Hallelujah. Who touched me? And here he is talking about the ground as well. I should have, I should have did that ground. Glory to God. Who touched me, he said. I don't know if that's, let me see. That might not be eight. <clears throat> that might not be eight. Let me see. Oh, maybe it is. Hey. Someone, no, it was someone deliberately touched me. For I felt healing power. Come on go out from me. So, you don't have to steal none of that. Um, so God is saying, when God has sent someone into your ministry to bless you, bless it, bless the, the people that's there, glory to God, because they may not always stay. God don't always see, hallelujah. And that's another thing. Just because people show up to your church don't mean they got to stay there. Just because people, God sent people there don't mean they your your members. That's another thing the church got to come out of and be delivered from. And, and then when they when God moves them somewhere else, you can't you can't send no curse word. They don't have no land to strip anyway. You can't curse them people because they leave. God didn't call them to you anyway. He called, he, he called them particular people to him. Now there's some people that are there that, that will be, uh, be there your uh, members, but some people are not going to be your members. When when God sends these people to your church, God will send the gift of healing and virtue shows up. Number five, it says, I think I have number, a six one here. Abundance, an abundance of joy shows up. Power, authority, and mercy shows up. God, God also said, glory to God, an abundance of an, an ab abundance shows up, increase shows up, and the anointing of wealth shows up. When God sends, hallelujah, certain people into your ministries. And so God wanted me to read uh, Matthew 8. I'm going to start at verse 35. You may have me, you know how he does. He may have me switch it around. Let me see. I'm sorry. Is that 55? No, 35. It's 35. Uh... So it's, uh, the prelude to this was uh, Jesus healed this man of, of legions, right, of, of legion demons. And so now the crowd, here we go, we're talking about the crowd that showed up after Jesus had healed this man. So it says here, soon a crowd came out to see for themselves what had happened and saw the man who had been demon possessed sitting quietly at Jesus' feet. Clothed and sane, clothed and sane. Come on, back to the word I just I'm just po posting right now. Glory to God. I don't know who which one is gonna be first, but I know I'm I'm posting it. You know, YouTube take forever to, to load stuff up. But they found this man that Jesus had Hallelujah had healed and delivered. Right? They found him clothed and sane. S A N E. Go, glory to God. And the whole crowd. Because this man tormented this whole crowd. He, he tormented this whole city. They were badly frightened. They, this whole crowd was badly frightened. Then those who had seen, uh, then those who had seen it happen told how the demon-possessed man had been healed. And everyone begged Jesus. They begged Jesus to go away and leave them alone. For a deep wave of fear had swept over them. They kicked Jesus out of the, off the, out the scene because of Jesus' miracle. They kicked Jesus out of their ways because Jesus' uh, miracle signs and wonders that showed up. That had this, this man was tormented. He was naked. He was cutting himself. He was in chains. He would break the chains. He was in the graveyard. 
But Jesus sent the hallelujah, uh, healing power, delivered this man, and it scared everybody else. But what, it re what really scared them is that it, it shut, hallelujah, their economy down. Come on. That power, uh huh. Jesus' healing power shut their wicked economy down. That's what they really was, uh huh. That's why they really wanted Jesus out of there. But five signs, come on. Five signs. And we got a sign right here that says abundance shows up, increase shows up, and the anointing of wealth shows up when Jesus sends somebody. Uh huh. When the debt, uh huh. Listen, let me come off out. Of, let me come out of here. Uh, <clears throat> so a deep fear came upon them. So he he so they told him to leave, get out of here. So he returned to the boat and left. He cro crossing back to the other side of the lake. The man who had been demon possessed begged to go with Jesus. And Jesus said, no, uh -huh. I'm about to send you somewhere. Uh-uh. See, 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 the sower of discord don't understand the deliverance power of Jesus. He don't understand that, that healing power uh -huh, that Jesus talked about just so further, just a couple of verses down, further down, that he talked about that, that came out of him. Uh-huh. See, the sword of discord don't understand how the, how the power of God works. The healing power of God, the deliverance power of God. He don't, he don't understand that. Uh-huh. The false witness, he don't understand that either. Uh-huh. Jesus said, no, you can't come with me because I, I got an evangelist call upon you. I got You are even going to publish. You're even going to publish your books. I got books for you. The church needs deliverance. That's what, that's what the problem is. The church needs deliverance today. I need y'all to go get that book. The church needs deliverance. I got something for you to publish. He said, no. Go back to your family. Hallelujah. He told him, and tell them what a wonderful thing God has done for you. Uh-huh. But I'm going to read it. I'm going to read it in King James Version because it's right next to it because it sounds real good over there. Now the man, hallelujah, now the man out of whom the devils were departed besought him, besought Jesus that he might be with him. But Jesus sent him away. Jesus sent him five signs. Jesus send somebody into your ministry. Jesus sent him away saying, return thine, to thine home, return to thy house and show how. Great things God have done unto you. And he went, the man went away and published. The man went and published throughout the whole city how great things, how great things Jesus had done unto him. Right? So now, when hallelujah, when Jesus sends, glory to God, people into your life. Glory to God. There's something that's going to show up. Healing shows up. Deliverance shows up. Glory to God. Virtue shows up. Power shows up. Authority shows up. Hey, the glory of God shows up. And supernatural blessings show up there where you don't have to, you know, do things to pervert things, to pervert, pervert the atmosphere to try to steal it. Uh-huh. Hallelujah. And so now Jesus has been forced out of this place. They fe they fear in Jesus. Because see, Jesus, he's sent too. Uh-huh. God sent Jesus too, right? Uh-huh. So now they're forcing him out of this place because they're scared, they scared of his power. They're scared of his anointing. They're scared of his glory that he carries. Glory to God. Hallelujah. And it says here, so he went all through the city telling everyone about Jesus' mighty miracles. Come on. Glory to God. Now on the other side of the lake, the crowds. Uh -huh. So where they close. See, God is on a multiple. He's, he's doing multiple things in this, in, this, in this broadcast. So now where they rejected you at, now where they, where they shut the doors to you at. Just on the other side, they done kicked you out of here, but just on the other side of that kicking you out, just on the other side of the, the, the sowing of discord, being causing people to shut you out and excommunicate you, just on the other side of that thing, how do we go about to shut them voices down? 
Glory to God. And this big old voice is too that's been doing this for years. Hallelujah against me. Hallelujah in the, in the name of Jesus and against somebody else. I'm not the only one they doing this too. I mean big names. Hallelujah. Big names in the body of Christ. Hallelujah. And they've been doing this to the children of God. They've been doing it too long. God about to shut them names down. That every lie, they, that, that, you know that Bible verse that they tongue cleave to the roof of their mouth. God says that he's going to, hallelujah, deliver us from lying lips and a deceitful tongue. God says he's going to deliver the saints of God from lying lips and a deceitful tongue. And just on the other side of discord, just on the other side of rejection, just on the other side, hallelujah, false accusations, just on the other side of lies. And guess what God just said? He just said, and what if you did do it? Just say, what if the, the things that they said you did, you, you did, you did, you did it. He said, Father God said, when did I lose my power to save you? God wants me to ask you, those that, hallelujah, it may have some old information, those that may have, hallelujah, false, oh, oh I'm, uh -huh, God just said that. There, I'm going to tell you, God says, there are some apps they have right now, they've been having them, hallelujah, because I felt victim of it myself. There are some apps that they have that they can uh, falsify text messages saying that you 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 did this text and it wasn't even you. You don't know nothing about the text. They have these apps that can hallelujah falsify uh, documents with your name on it, your whatever signature, all this other kind of stuff. They got this stuff, and they and 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 they they present it to the people that they lying on you to as as your stuff, and you don't know what's going on. You you um, you don't know. You're like, why these people don't like me no more? Why these people don't it, people got, they got text messages and Photoshop stuff with your stuff on it. They got, you know, AI technology, you know that stuff. They have all this stuff that, that, that can lie on the saints of God. And God says, and what if you did do it? When did his power to deliver diminish? When did his power of salvation diminish? And how are these people able to gauge who's saved for real and who's not? They don't have the power to, to tell who, who's saved and who's not. God is on that too. Why his why his salvation don't work on let's say somebody like somebody like me, but it works really well in your life. Come on, God is not a respecter of persons. Man is though. God is not a respecter of persons. So stop lying and say somebody's not saved. Stop lying because God got the same power. Uh huh. He said healing power came out of uh, him. So if you have the opportunity to be saved, I do too. And people just like me that you done lied on. So, but just on the other side, he says here in, in Luke, what is this? Luke, uh, verse 40, he says, just on the other side of the lake, the crowds received him. They received Jesus with open arms for they had been waiting for him. They have, so somebody that's going to see this and you've been rejected, they, the church don't like you. You know why? Because you feel with the glory of the Lord. And it's a, it's a lot of faking and shaking going on in the church. And it's coming out. Before God come up. Before God come up on this scene. Hallelujah. He's getting, that, he's getting them snakes out of there. Them hallelujah. What do you call them? What do you say? A brood of, of, of snakes. They're coming out. Uh-huh. Hallelujah. They're coming out. The bridegroom coming. And he's coming for his church. So he got to get the he got to get the snakes out. So all that rejection. All of that excommunicating, let them do it. Hallelujah. They ain't doing nothing but showing themselves and showing who, hallelujah, who they are. False teachers, false doctrine, false prophets, false apostles. F ministers, hallelujah, f ministers of righteousness and they belong to Satan. Uh-huh. Yeah, that one. Glory to God. He says, just on the other side, they received him and they were waiting on him. So there's somebody, saints of God, don't give up. Don't give up. There's somebody that's waiting on the voice that God has given you. The word that God planted in your soul before you reach this earth realm. The word of God that has the power to deliver. The word of God that has the power, hallelujah, to heal five signs. That God sent somebody to your church. Hallelujah. And hallelujah, how did you handle them? That's what God want to know now. How did you handle them when God sent them? But just on the other side of being hallelujah, told to get up out of there because of fear of your miracle signs and wonders that God does in your presence and in your midst. Uh-huh. 
there's some people right on the other side that will receive you with open arms. Glory to God. Five signs. There's some people that God sends into our lives. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Are we going to recognize them? Or are we going to go by on the word of discord? Or are we going to go on the words of a lying spirit? Five signs, one more time, and I'm coming off of here. That God sent someone to your ministry. Glory shows up. Uh-huh. The glory to be able to heal. I just heard that. The glory to be able to deliver shows up. Hallelujah. And it's not everybody. And that, how about Sire? God is saying this is not everybody. This is not everybody that he sends into his into your ministry. That may have these type of gifts, because everybody's gifted in such a, a vast way. And uh things uh that they carry is, are different from others. Somebody may not have, hallelujah, type well, be administrative in those manners, you know. So maybe it may be able to fix up the church. Glory to God. Window seals being redone. You know, things of that nature. But five signs God sent somebody to your church or to your ministry. The glory of the Lord shows up stronger and more powerful. I heard powerful, power to heal. Healing power shows up. And not necessarily phys physical healing, right? Even though that's part of it too. But the Bible says we have gifts of healing. So that means there's a multi multiple layers of healing. So the atmosphere can be healed. Because the enemy is always trying to shoot at something. He's always trying to do something to the children of God. So God can, can send people into those atmospheres that can heal the atmosphere. God can send people to the... Hey, to, to the thresh, uh, uh, the threshold that can heal the threshold. Come on. God can send somebody to the gate that can heal the gates of the ministry. My God. You will hear when God sends somebody to your ministry, God is going to give you a word. He's going to, you're going to hear the voice of the Lord. Hallelujah. If you don't let jealousy and high, you don't let jealousy uh, distort your your hearing, even vision. I heard vision too. If you don't let jealousy because you can you can uh, uh, your hearing has vision. So you when, what what God means by that when He gives you a word, you can see the word, right? When when God gives you uh, ha 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 vision, you can hear the vision. Uh huh. So when God gives you a word, you can see the word. That's what he's saying with vision. You will hear the voice of the Lord for their lives. Glory to God. How do you, how do you handle it? How do you carry it? Do you, will you steward that word well? Or will you use it against them? I'm just hearing the Holy Spirit. I'm not, I'm, listen, somebody will know what I'm talking about. He says also, number three, what they carry will supernaturally bless you. What they carry will supernaturally bless the atmosphere. How do you steward it? How do you steward what they carry? Do you get jealous of it or do you want to steal it? Do you try to manipulate them? Manipulate people around them to come against them? How do you eh, steward when Jesus Christ sends people into your presence, into your ministry, into your corporation? Come on, that's another level. In Jesus' name. Uh, number four, everyone that comes to your church, everyone that enters church, isn't always broken. There's been some healing there, right? Glory to God. They're, they're there to pour into your life. Hallelujah. And we're always being healed. We're always being saved. We are being saved. We are being delivered. We are being healed. If, if you're always pursuing Jesus Christ, you're always going to be being delivered. You're always going to be being saved. You're always going to be being set free of something, you know, because we live life. Every day is different, you know. So we're going to be saved. We're going to be being saved. Salvation is going to be constantly working in, in us if we're desiring that. Some people don't desire it. They think once saved, always saved in, in, in that manner where you don't, you, you just say the sinner's prayer and guess what? I can go right back 
to having sex out of wedlock and go right back, smoking crack. Come on. Being addicted to things. Come on. And come on. Let's, let's be real. But everybody's not broken. God has, 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 has healed them. He built them. He's built them up to, to come into to, to your life in those capacities to be able to, hallelujah, pour into your life. God says also, some of the people that he sends to your ministry, they're being healed. they've been healed on the way to your ministry, right? And the gift of healing and virtue shows up when they arrive. Glory to God. Once again, healing what? Healing in the atmosphere, healing in the, some, sometimes the musicians, they're going through something and they haven't heard the sound of the Lord in, in a while. Come on, that atmosphere, hallelujah, that, 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 that thing that has been keeping them from hearing the sound of heaven, hearing the, 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 the thunderous, hallelujah, the thunder and the voices and the lightning that's around the throne of God, keeping them from hearing the beautiful sounds of glory. Come on. Come on. Some people show up and, hey, and it unlocks them. Glory to God. Hallelujah. That sound of heaven that was once locked up, y'all. See, we, we so we so surface. We don't understand the, 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 the realms of heaven. We don't understand. We don't understand it. Hallelujah. Ver, uh, I said verse 5. <laughs> Number 5, it says here, an abundance. When God has sent people to your ministry, there's going to be abundance of something. That shows up. What is it? It could be joy. It could be peace. It could be love. It could be uh, a maturation. It could be spiritual maturation. It could be an abundance of wisdom. It could be an abundance of witty inventions. It could be abundance of knowledge, intelligence, intellect, excellence. Come on. There could be uh, an abundance of joy. It shows up. An abundance of God's power and mercy. These are examples. There's going to be abundance of something that emanates from the kingdom of heaven, not the kingdom of darkness. We have, we're talking about an abundance of foolishness. We're talking about abundance of joy, abundance of love, abundance of the fruit of the spirit, abundance of kindness that the enemy likes to pervert and say that you're a witch because you're kind. That's, I, I've never heard such a thing. And people just be eating, it, eating that foolishness up. And then he says in their abundance, God says there's also an example of abundance of wealth that shows up, an anointing of wealth that may show up, an increase of wealth that may show up when God sends his people, glory to God, to your ministry. Hey, glory to God. Hallelujah. Y'all wonder why he wouldn't let me do it a month, a month and a half. I think it was a month and a half ago. It may be maybe a month. But I wonder why God wouldn't let me do it. Hallelujah, because I tried. Hey, hey, come on, say. Hey, let me show you. Well, let us steward. Uh huh. Let us steward the people that you, you bring into our lives. You see, a lot, you see, God is revealing a lot of things to us. You see, now we've, we've only been taught that stewardship pertains to money. But it's not always just money that it pertains to, and it does. It pertains to money, possessions. Uh, you know that God has allotted us to 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 uh, to handle in these seasons that we live in, but but stewardship is a is relational as well. How do we uh, steward relationally? How do we how do we steward uh -huh, the things about people emotionally? Uh -huh. How do we steward uh -huh, the psychological? Come on, now you're Holy Spirit. The steward the psychological uh, aspects of, a, of of people. Of human beings, of people that God has allotted to spend time with us. Uh huh. Come on. How do we uh -huh, steward our relationships? How do we steward our marriages? How do we steward hallelujah, our children's children relationships? How do we do it? Lord, allow us to steward our relationships properly. Allow us to steward the people that you send into our lives properly. Allow us to be humble before you as as we deal with people relationally in jesus name i'm gonna come up for here i've been on here almost two hours not on this particular broadcast but <clears throat> the one before that one hopefully is loaded up glory to god it takes so long sometimes y'all it, it takes so long for those words to come on and so um but i pray all is is doing well there's been some tough issues some tough topics 
God has had me talk about the video before. It was a tough issue because it dealt with the church. And this one is dealing with the church as well. God is wanting his church healthy. God is wanting his church to be a safe place for the children of God to enter into and not be mistreated, y'all. Have we not gathered that yet? But 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 the thing is, the church has been infiltrated by, what did the Bible say? They crept in in unawares. Yeah, I think that's in Jude, the book of Jude, where they creep in of unawares, you know, uh, 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 producing this sound, this, this, this doctrine of, of demons, this doctrines of, of uh, uh, what is it, uh, of a false religion. You know, they've crept in unawares. They, they've, and that's what the church is dealing with right now. And, and so, and so, and it's been a, it's been a few decades. And so now it's hard if you don't really, if you're not really walking in the Holy Spirit, being led by the Holy Spirit, being filled by the Holy Spirit, even sowing in the Holy Spirit. If you're not doing these things, you're you're gonna miss it. You're gonna miss that you're being lied to every Sunday. You're gonna miss that they're um, they're just using you for your money. And I'm not saying that you know I'm not trying trying to tell people to to leave the, their churches or whatever like that. But just ask God for the wisdom in this hour because a lot of us have been duped. You know, a lot of us. You know, they and, and I because I was one of them. And you know, I don't play with Jesus. I don't play with His name. Um, I don't play with his care. I don't play with him. I don't play with his character. I don't play with his kingdom. And so when I would hear people, you know, and it looked, they looked like they was doing it, you know, doing the do. Uh, what I mean by that is I, they looked like they really loved Jesus Christ. It looked like they really belonged to Jesus Christ. But when you start pulling, pulling the layers off, you're like, ooh, that's mixture. That's duality. That's Creeping in unawares, giving this fault. And I'm and I as I read the Bible, I'm looking at, oh, we've been taught wrong for too long. We don't even know what blasphemy of the Holy Spirit is. Uh, 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 what was the other one God just revealed to me? Glory to God. Maybe it'll come back to me in a minute. But we don't even know how to, what what that means. Glory to God. So I'm, I'm just not, you know, I don't want to go there. <laughs> I'm trying to fight this thing. I don't want to go in these area, in that area anymore. But, but, but we've been taught wrong, and God is really wanting the body of Christ to be taught correctly. I just heard error, E-R-R-O-R. -R -R. We've been taught in that error, E-O, I'm sorry, E-R-R-O-R. -R. We've been taught in that, in that manner, the word of God. <clears throat> And God was saying also that some of the the Bible, Hallelujah, is not complete, and He's about to He's about to deal with that too. He said, "Bring His real Bible out in the name of Jesus." He's He's tired of this Hallelujah. Come on, but anyway, I'm not gonna go there. I'm gonna let the Holy Spirit deal deal in that manner. Uh, but do know this: that this is not the totality of the of the book, but. He's still glory. He's still glorified. You know what I mean? It's, he's still, hallelujah, the King of kings and the Lord of lords. You know, even what, what, what we do have, glory to God. His power is still able to move. He's still the word of God. Uh-huh. Uh, John 1, he's still the word. He's still, Jesus Christ is still the word of God in the beginning. Hallelujah. There, why am I shot? Let me not go into this. I'm going I'm to try to end that right there. But God is saying, let's steward our relationships well. Let's steward the people that God put in our lives for the lot of time that he, he has. Because there are some people that God sent to the church because he wants that church healthy. He wants his church healthy because the gates of hell is not going to prevail. It will not prevail against His church is is, is not going to happen. Now, now the attempts to prevail, that's going to like you know how he says, no weapon for, forged, no weapon forged. Meaning they they listen. That means when he say forged, that I mean they they've been beating that weapon together. They've been put, hallelujah. They've been putting uh, uh, putting that metal in that fire. 
Uh -huh, getting it hot so they can so they can beat that sword into into to, to being a sword. Same with the body of Christ. Same with the church. That doesn't mean that the enemy is not going to try to forge the weapons or for uh, uh, try to try. He's not going to try not to prevail against the church. He's not. He's going to try it, right? Just like the forging of weapons against your life, they're going to try it, but it will not prosper. It will not prevail. In the name of Jesus, I love you guys. Just know, hallelujah, we are in the season that God is, hallelujah, he's birthing out a new thing. Hallelujah. We, the, hallelujah. The old things, it would say, the old things have passed away. Old things have passed away. Let's get out of that. God is saying he's going to birth his church into a new place, a new place in him that's going to be ready for his return. That's, that's really what this is all about. A church that's ready for his return. Uh-huh. Uh huh. So we got to get towards. We got to get towards the place. You see, right now we're just preaching the gospel of Jesus Christ. Uh huh. So now we got to move towards a place that we're preaching the gospel of the kingdom of God. Uh huh. So there's some things that got to transpire before that happens. Glory to God. May God be with you. May God glorify your life today. And Lord, send the spirit of salvation across this earth. Hallelujah, as you get ready to do these new things in your, in your body, Lord, let the spirit of salvation overtake, glory to God, overtake this earth. Let there be an increase, an influx, hallelujah, of those that say, what, say that what must I do to be saved? Let the salvation power of Jesus Christ, holy God, hallelujah, enter this earth like never before. We cancel every door and every portal that's trying to shut out, hallelujah, every door, every window, every gate that's trying to shut out. The salvation of the Lord from entering into the, these United States and even into the globe. We cancel your assignment against the children of God today. There shall be salvation. There shall be, hallelujah, be, people being born again. There shall be people filled with the Holy Spirit, with the evidence. Glory to God. Hallelujah. They're speaking in tongues. Glory to God. There shall be evidence that they receive the Holy Spirit. Glory to God. In Jesus' name, I love you. Bye.